Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad with camera connection kit to an external hard drive via a split USB cable. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is plug in the, uh, the thinner cable from your split USB cable. Um, as you can see, this is the main cable. It has the main cord, which goes into the hard drive and a secondary cord which will plug into your power source which can either be a, well it can be any sort of an external source it could be a, an iPod, iPad charger it could be something battery powered uh, anyhow you're going to take your main cord after you've plugged it into your MacBook Pro and then you're going to want to plug it into your iPad a little bit more difficult to do with one hand Anyhow, so now that you've got it plugged in, uh, you're going to want to hop on your Mac real quick. And we'll see if you can see this or not. It's in the guide online anyway. And I've already SSH'd into my iPad. And the first thing we're going to do is list the dev directory. And as you can see here, well, you can hardly see it, but it says disk one s one And that's in my guide. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you mount that to the external directory in the volumes folder we created earlier. We give it a second, and as you can see, it mounted. So now, as you can see, I've got Goodreader opened here, and right here, we've got this ext folder we created earlier, and as you can see now that I clicked on it, this is accessing the files on my external drive. So just as a proof of concept, Let's go into the portfolio folder. And, well, we'll go back real quick. If you go to Manage Files, let's just select that whole folder. Copy. Done. Go back into My Documents. And I've already created a portfolio. Have I created a portfolio folder? Yep, I have. And we'll just erase that real quick. And for the sake of the video, let's go right ahead and paste that folder in. And as you can see, now the folder is back, including all of these files that I brought in. Um, these are all coming from the external drive. And as you can see, this is a quick example of a full file that I've copied over. Um, as well, if you don't want to copy files over, and let's say that we're in the external folder here, which is the symbolic link we created earlier, if we just want to view some files in the portfolio, we can call up an image, such as the one below, or if we go back and let's select another one real quick. It's like one farther down the list. Um, the icons being highlighted in blue means they haven't been viewed yet. But this is a perfect way to copy files over from an external drive. So we've got that file right there. Um, we can do a lot of things with it. We could zip it up real quick under Manage Files. Uh, we could, let's just say we want to manage it and zip it. We could go to the zip option. We could go to the email option. And now we can do a lot of things with this file that we brought over from my external hard drive. So. That's a wrap of the um, mounting the hard drive and copying some files over. Uh, if you want to, for larger things, I might recommend using iFile um, with the quick modification I put in the guide. Um, if we went into the ext directory, we could do the exact same thing by going up to edit and then going oh, sorry, to edit, checking portfolio, going down here to this and we could copy this let's say into the well, let's go into var mobile and if we wanted to we could just go back up to edit go back down here paste we'll copy over the file give it a couple of seconds and there we go
we've got that portfolio folder right there. So you can use either iFile, Good Reader, or if you uh, want to be a little bit more savvy, you can use Soft Links with any other app. Um, like I said, if you go into the settings in Good Reader and make sure you check application names to on. If you do that, go into the VAR Mobile Applications folder you can scroll through any of these apps and make symbolic links so that they can reference your files that you're copying over. Um, basically following the guide, if you're a little intuitive and a little inventive, you can probably figure it out just fine. So that's basically all there is to it. The last thing you're going to want to do is go back into Terminal and you're going to want to unmount it with the U-mount command with the same dev disk you used before. Click it, give it a couple seconds, it'll go back to the command line and you can unplug the hard drive. And there you go. That's all there is to it.